One of the first things I had to do when migrating my firm's standards over to Revit years ago was to figure out a way to get the new door schedule to look like the old door schedule. The issue, as many of you know, was that the height and the width and the thickness fields were all separate columns and couldn't be automatically combined in the schedule. So for this and many other instances, we had to find workarounds to get that single column with the data from multiple columns. It was nine times out of 10 a manual process, and that of course leads to errors and confusion and just mess ups down the road. Revit 2017 has a great new feature that lets you build a combined parameter out of any other parameter in your schedule. So for my problem from 10 years ago, I can now go to fields. I can click the combine parameters button, and that's gonna let me make a new field in my schedule. Up top, I'm just gonna call it door size, and then any parameter that is associated with the category in the schedule, I can find one of their parameters and just migrate it on over. So I've got my width and I've got my height and I've got my thickness. I can add a suffix, I can add a prefix, I can add a separator. So in this case, it's gonna be space X space, space X space, and then nothing there. Get a nice preview down here at the bottom of what it's gonna look like, say okay. Shows up just like any other field. I'm gonna move it on up so it's a little closer to the other sizes. And then once I hit okay, here's that new column with all of those parameters right in here. So anytime I change one of these parameters, it's gonna update the door size over here automatically. Now, the units for these are gonna be based upon your default project units, but if you need to override these, you can put one of the individual columns in your schedule you can go to your formatting. So in this case, I'll just go to height and I can change the field formatting right here. See right now it says use project settings, but if I override one of the individual fields that builds up the overall field, and we'll just go ahead and set this to centimeters just to show you, you'll notice the height column is now that overridden field, but also the combined parameter looks to the local schedule to see what those field settings should be. This is a great addition to the already powerful schedule functionality, and it's really going to help us move away from potentially dangerous manual input.